What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I almost hit my hand on this box back here. Somebody's going to have to take me to the hospital. Anyway, if you're new here, thank you for joining us. We have all sorts of fun on this channel, so you're going to want to stick around. To do that, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, and when you do, also make sure that you hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on this channel. With that said, let's get into today's video, shall we? So guess what? We're almost at the end of this week, which means that we are going to find out the bids. The bids are due at the end of this week for the Washington Commanders franchise. Yes, we are going to find out some more breaking news as far as who is bidding on the Commanders and if this is in fact going to be accepted bids and if it's going to be bids on just minority stakes or if it's going to be bids on the entire the entire franchise. Now, there's still a lot of people who are kind of like, yeah, I'll see it when I believe it. And I don't blame you whatsoever. I really don't because <laughs> we wouldn't put anything past Dan Snyder now, would we? And I don't blame you one bit. But for all intents and purposes, from a lot of sources that, be in, that have, I guess, are, are reporting on this, it seems like this is definitely for the full franchise and so these bids are due by the end of the week now at the time of the recording of this video it is thursday december the 22nd and so we've got until tomorrow i'm assuming or by the end of the day tomorrow to really know anything more about the bids and so hey this stuff could be done and over with by January. And I did remember hearing something about a month ago that said that they're likely to move very quickly with this and that they would like to have this all done by January. We're almost in January. So we could be seeing a brand new owner in January. Now, a lot of people think it's going to be Jeff Bezos because he has the deepest pockets. And Jeff is planning on bringing in Jay-Z as a minority owner. It seems like a lot of owners are doing this. They're, they're wanting to have more diversity as far as ownership in NFL franchises. And so, so that minority stake is almost a double meaning, right? It's not just, you know, somebody who has a smaller stake in the team, but it's also someone of color who otherwise would not probably have an opportunity to own the team because they're not part of the, the gang, so to speak. So, you know, now these guys have an opportunity to become NFL owners and to spread diversity within the league. And so, you know, it's, diversity is not a bad thing, folks. It, it really isn't. But having a different owner is not a bad thing either. I'm sorry, but you know, for there are some folks out there who's going to be like, what if we get somebody even worse than Dan Snyder? Have you not paid attention to the last, what, 24 years? Have you not paid attention to the last 24 years? I mean, I don't think it can get any worse than Dan Snyder. Really don't. Really don't. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Do I think that Jeff Bezos is the best guy to lead a sports franchise? I don't know. I don't know. I he's not my favorite. He's obviously not my top choice. I'd rather have someone who has experience, who has had success running a sports franchise and knows how to put the right people in place and let them run the actual day-to-day -day operations while they kind of take care of the financial things. But, you know, basically what I'm saying is I would rather have a Jack Kent Cook, <laughs> let me say that again, a Jack Kent Cook type of uh, owner. I mean, who wouldn't? You know, he brought greatness to this franchise. So that's what I would like to have. That's what anybody would like to have. 
but we're going to have to wait and see, but I don't think we're going to have to wait too long. Now, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting if tomorrow we find out that Dan Snyder looks at all of these bids and he's like, yeah, mm, you know, I don't like any of these. I think I'm, you know what? I'm good. I, I think I'm, I, I, th I think I'm just going to just kind of stick with what, what I have. It could happen. It really could happen. I don't think it will, though, because I really think that with all the investigations that has surrounded Dan Snyder, all the bad publicity, and I know that a lot of people say there's no such thing as bad publicity. If I can get it out, it is. And I think in this, t in this time, he has been in the ring, has gotten beat up so much. Hey, get your... Get your several billion dollars while you can and just retire on your yacht. Take it easy. You know, you don't you don't need to have this mess. You know, they took the, the name away. That was probably something that was extremely important to you. I mean, it's extremely important to a lot of us fans. But, I mean, honestly, Dan, just go and live your best life. Really, just go live your best life. Let's let someone else come in. So I'm ready for a new owner. I know a lot of you fans out there are ready for a new owner. We're going to find out tomorrow. I really, truly believe. We're going to find out tomorrow if these bids are going to be accepted or not. I'm going to try to report on this. Okay, folks, you let me know in the comment section. Like this video, please, please, please. Like this video. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Share this video out with the other folks. And please, don't forget to subscribe to this video. Please subscribe to this video. When, when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. I'm Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us. I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.